Hey everybody, so here we are at the Habitat Restore. This restore's hours are Monday through Saturday, 10 to 4. And here's a shot around the store, and you know by now we're going to get into all the areas. And I wanted to show you this bench. We saw it last week. It was $425. They've marked it down to $200. This is a beautiful piece of furniture. And I really like this coffee table. So it's huge. It's $175. I love just that gray wood with the wood grain showing through. And look at that fancy design on it. And here's a brand new lamp at this restore for $16. And definitely check your restore for pillows. So this one's $4. And they have some of the best baskets here. This basket's $12. And definitely look through their picture frames. This ceramic frame's $5. And this large 8x10 frame is just $1. And I hope y'all are having fun going with me through these restores. Please just like and subscribe so our channel can keep growing. And this is a glass top coffee table for $30. And I know, don't look at those scratches. Like I've said before, we can get those touch-up markers, a little furniture wax. It's going to be good as new. And I'm always finding wine racks at the restores. This one's $8.50. So this is a leather top side table for $75. It looks vintage. This is so heavy. I was so afraid I was going to break it. So these are $5.50 a piece. They're huge glass candle holders. These are fantastic. These are $5 a piece. They're huge. I hope you can see the beautiful green color on them. And it's kind of that crackled finish on it. And I looked to see if it maybe had a price tag from where someone had bought it. I didn't see anything on it. But I think that's a great deal for those. And this caught my eye. So this lamp is $15. It works. Isn't that fancy? And look at the finial on top. And these are metal scroll candle sconces. $3 a piece. And here's a fancy centerpiece for $5.50. So this is a large spoon rest from Pioneer Woman for $2. And I love this saying, it says, make life delicious. And you guys will have to let me know. So this says, by appointment to His Majesty the King of Sweden. These are mugs for a dollar. Are these maybe tourist items? When you go to Sweden, you can get one of these, or have I found something spectacular? <laughs> You'll have to let me know. And you know we have to take a quick trip through their cookbooks. They go anywhere from 75 cents up to $1.25. Oh, what does that say? My modern Caribbean kitchen. Ooh, that looks good. And I've said before, I've tried all recipes, and that really is some of the best recipes. Let's see, Land of Lakes, Treasury of Country Recipes. I grew up in the country, so I'm used to that type of cooking. And Graham Kerr's Mini Max Cookbook. Oz Clark's New Classic Wines. Oh, and let's see what else. Oh, Wines of the World, look at that. Oh, wouldn't it be fun to be there? Reader's Digest, like Grandma used to make. Oh, I remember Sunday lunches at my grandmother's. There was nothing better. Our family would come, our cousins, everybody. It was like a family reunion every Sunday. Oh, some of the best memories. So definitely check your restore for cookbooks. And this little tea kettle was only $5. I hope you can see just the beautiful color of it. And this caught my eye, so this is just a little sugar and creamer, $1.50. 
I love that red color. And a dollar fifty for the sugar bowl. And you know we got to look at these assorted dishes. They go anywhere from twenty-five cents for a cup or mug up to two dollars for a serving dish. Dinner plates are a dollar a piece. Saucers are fifty cents. And I liked these with the peppers on them. So, you know, everyday dishware, dishwasher safe. And that's a fairly large collection of dishes there. And here's some more of their fine china. You know, like I've said before, sometimes I can find an almost complete set. So this is fine sayi china. Oh, that's so pretty with the silver on it. And let's see what we can find over here. Oh, these blue plates are beautiful. And this is Royal Norfolk China, and that would be more everyday wear. And sometimes I run across a complete set of knives, so this block of knives is $9. And y'all have to let me know. So these are 25 cents a piece and they remind me of the little sherbet, orange sherbet popsicles, the little push-ups that we used to eat. So I'm assuming that's for homemade popsicles. And they had a lot of different vintage shelving here today. So this is $30 and you can tell it just looks really old. I think it'd be perfect in like a country or a farmhouse type of decor. And they had tons of faux floral stems here today. So this one was a dollar. And here's a glass top desk for $38. I love that it's a smaller size. And these caught my eye, $2 a piece, and it's whole pottery. So this is a mid-century modern piece by Broyhill. It's called Sculptra. And I looked it up online, so this is a walnut credenza with the hutch on top. Online, just the walnut credenza, the bottom piece, is $24.77 on eBay. So they've got this whole thing here for a little over $800. It's in fantastic condition, so Sculptra by Broyhill, look that up. I really am shocked that someone donated this. This is truly a steal of a deal on this piece of furniture. And here's a set of two Vitri Italian cherub candlesticks for $15. This made my heart race, so it's a five drawer Victorian chest for a little over $200. I get so excited when I see furniture like this. I think it's so beautiful. I'm drawn to older pieces of furniture. Isn't that dreamy? You just don't see stuff like that every day. And this is a drop leaf table for $110. And I'll run across these fairly often at the restores. And again, I just think they're perfect space savers. And this is another one of those vintage carts, so it's $85. In my mind, that should be on your front porch with tons of flowers in it. I think it'd be perfect. Okay, hear me out on this. I think this will be a fun DIY project. This chair is only $10. I know the fabric needs to be replaced, but I think you could possibly use the nail heads on it, 10 bucks. And look at this for $5. It's a vintage filing cabinet. And I know it needs a little bit of work too, but it's made out of wood. I really don't run across filing cabinets that often that are made of wood. 
okay, these chairs are back behind that chain. You can't go back there. You can just look and see what they've got for sale. They're waiting to be priced. You gotta come back tomorrow to see what the price is. But I really like the plaid fabric and those chairs are really heavy. Okay, I'm going across the chain. <laughs> I'm doing it for us, so I gotta hurry. I wanted to look at this piece. Again, we can't buy it today. They entice us to come back tomorrow. Isn't this vanity dreamy? Again, it's just an older piece of furniture. Oh, they didn't catch me. <laughs> I had to hurry back there just to see that for us. And here's a brand new charbroil grill waiting to be priced. Again, we gotta come back tomorrow to see what that price is. And like I've said before, take your kids or your grandkids with you to the ReStore. This is a huge basketball goal and it's got the base on it with the wheels for $20. And here's another shot around the store. And you know, when you shop your Habitat Restore, you're gonna help someone else with home ownership or home repairs. And I thought this was adorable. So it's a little sewing machine and it's blank note cards for a dollar. Isn't that beautiful? And they had tons of these here today. And y'all know I'm gonna get to Paris one day. You know I am. So this picture caught my eyes, how they were building the Eiffel Tower from 1888 to 1889. And definitely check your ReStore for pictures. This is a gallery wrap canvas with a frame for a little over $12. And you know I love a metal bed. So this is a metal bed, headboard, footboard, and the rails for $65. And here's some more of their floral stems here today. So this wreath is $6. And they had tons of these all around the store. Okay, if y'all are new to my channel, let me tell you my golf club story. This ReStore sells tons of golf clubs. I think they're $5 a piece, maybe even a little cheaper. My grandmother had a golf club and us kids, we didn't have a golf ball. So we got out back <laughs> hitting her apples off of her apple tree. We loved it. She did not. <laughs> oh, but you know what? We made it through it. that shabby chic vibe, $3.50 for that pillow. And this is a huge chair with the ottoman for $200 and that felt like the microfiber suede material. So this is only $10. I was really surprised. So I'm wondering, you know, what on earth is this? I love the color. I just love the fancy little knobs on it. It's a jewelry box. Look at that. It looks perfect inside. Maybe, maybe a place for our secret papers. Maybe. And here's a Geruta Italian hand-painted vase for $20. And I looked that up online and these vases are all handmade, hand-painted, and there's no two exactly alike. So this is a large vintage Sheridan pitcher, silver on copper for $7. You know, I think that would really shine up pretty. And here's the vintage sugar and creamer to go with it, $5 a piece. And I think the tray it was sitting on was four or $5. And here's a set of eight Noritake Swedish Swirl clear wine glasses for $25. I think that'd be a perfect wedding gift. These caught my eye. So these are brand new. They still have the tags on them, 75 cents a piece, made in Turkey. And I thought these were really pretty. So it says the Art of Florence, perfect coffee table books. 
And you know by now we've got to look through their silent auction items. So number 11 is a Minnie and Mickey Mouse collection. And number 10 is a hand stitch quilt. Oh, I love that purple color. And number nine is a Looney Tunes collection with a Bugs Bunny tin and Tom and Jerry glasses. Number eight is uranium glass, and that glows under black light. Number seven is a vintage Chinese boxwood hand-carved warrior statue. And number six is vintage sheet music from the 1930s up to the 1970s. And number five is a Russian nesting doll hand-painted and signed by Chepruk Nogak. And online they go between $80 and $150. Number four is vintage sheet music. Number three is a hand cut crystal Linux face. Number two is a vintage Nuova Italian floral centerpiece. Number one is a Cabbage Patch Kid signed by Xavier Roberts. Number 12 is a kimono and they said that it appears to be a handmade kimono. And number 13 is a floral oil on canvas signed by F. Tozisi. And if that is truly a Frederico Tozzi, that's worth a lot of money. And number 14 is a weighted scale. They said it's vintage, made of brass, possibly made in France. And number 15 is a fabulous red Schwinn cruiser bike. And this is a 30-piece set of Johnson Brothers China, $45. You know I love all the flowers on it. And that's so pretty. Made in England. Shout out to Jenny and her auntie. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a good day. Okay, here it is. That gift for your friend who has everything at this restore. You could get them a fishing rod. And here's a wine bar for $185. And again, it could be your coffee bar, or your tea bar. And they had it plugged in, so they've got the lights on, they've got the front drop down. Isn't that fabulous? Okay, one more gift for that friend who has everything. You could get them these large, they felt like they were made of concrete, they were so heavy. These large dies for $3.50 a piece. <laughs> And y'all, I gotta tell you, this is how I feel. I feel so giddy when y'all send me a sweet comment. And I wanted to showcase this song I found. It says, when life gives you lemons, make something sweet. And I certainly try to do that. I try to see the positive in every situation. It certainly makes my day better. And a lot of times it makes the other person's day better too. So I hope everyone has a great day out there. Thank y'all so much for coming with me. And until next time, come go with me today. Bye.